Let's have a sesh on mission statements, corporate objectives and functional objectives. We'll start with the top level, the mission statement. So the mission statement is essentially a qualitative, a written description of what the business intends to do so stakeholders understand its intent. Now an example of a mission statement would be in the case of Amazon, that it's Earth's most customer centric company. More details on the Amazon business model, click the card up there. But anyway, mission statements are sometimes given other names and they're very much interchangeable, they're fluid. For example, aims, corporate aims, values, vision, miss, mission vision, core purpose. They are other names that are sometimes interchangeably used with mission statements. But the key thing is mission statements are a broad definition of what the business's intent is. In the case of Amazon, Earth's most customer centric company. Now the layer below mission statements is the corporate objectives, again interchangeably sometimes called business objectives. And corporate objectives, the first thing is they are driven by the mission statement, so they are there to support that big top level mission statement, which as I said before, often very broad and qualitative. Now, corporate objectives define the overall objectives of the business, such as it could be profit maximisation, revenue maximisation, growth, or just initial survival in a startup business. And it's very likely these corporate or business objectives will be written in a smart fashion. And a smart fashion is just a style of writing an objective that indicates that the objective is specific in what the objective is trying to achieve, it is measurable, so it is not qualitative, it is more quantitative. You would use numbers and set goals through that. It is agreed by stakeholders, such as probably managers and shareholders, and possibly employees. It is realistic in what its goal is, and the time frame is defined. But also, when we're talking about time frame, sometimes with corporate objectives, we are talking about the short to medium term of these. In the longer term, it might be that the word strategy is interchangeably used with business objectives and corporate objectives. And when it is, and which is, tends to be the later uh, units of your A-level, strategy is essentially long-term objectives and how you can strategize for the future. Now, corporate objectives will be driven by the mission statement, but they will drive the functional objectives. So the functional objectives are plugged into what the corporate objectives are. Now the functional objectives will be on a department level, which is why sometimes functional objectives might be interchangeably called departmental objectives. They define the objectives of each department, such as the marketing department, the operations department, the finance department, the HR department. Key thing is they will be in more detail because they're going to be specific to that department more detail than you'd get at a corporate level. And again, functional objectives might again use smart fashion in order to how to write those objectives. As I said before, they are driven by the corporate objective because they are the lowest level of these objectives. The last thing to think about is why have, why have this structure? Why have this hierarchy of objectives and emissions at the top? Well, number one, because it helps measure success, because success in a marketing department needs a functional objective. You can't define the success of a marketing department from the mission statement. It's too broad, it's too generic. The other thing is that it allows coordination between managers and employees. It creates this underpinning system that everyone can work within, because you've got the functional objectives, so employees that are in the marketing department can look to fulfill their objectives within the marketing department, which fits in with the bigger system of that corporate objective, and clearly the end goal being the mission statement. So it gives focus and direction to employees and managers in their specific role, their specialization to help the broader definition of the organization. I hope that helps and I'll see you at the next sesh.